have all the ingredients to make dry pot. On the left, we have our assorted vegetables. We're using cucumber, mushrooms, cauliflower, and potatoes. However, you can use whatever vegetables you think will go well. We also have the meat. We're using chicken and beef, but we sometimes also use pork ribs. At the top, you can see the hot pot sauce. This sauce can be found at almost any Asian market, so that's just 99 Ranch. Uh, we'll provide you with a link later to find where to get this sauce. Finally, on the right, we have the ingredients for the spicy sauce. For the spicy oil sauce, we have chopped garlic, chopped ginger, a star anise, a bay leaf, cayenne pepper, celery, Sichuan peppercorn, although this ingredient is not required, and some dried chili pepper. The first step is to boil all of your vegetables. However, you don't want to boil them completely. About 60% cooked is ideal. The reason we do this is because later when we fry the vegetables, uh, we don't fry them long enough to become completely cooked, so we need to pre-boil a little. Here are all the boiled vegetables. Now we're going to do the spicy oil sauce. Heat a medium amount of oil in a frying pan and dump all of your spicy sauce ingredients in. Then go ahead and fry them for about one to two minutes. Here's how the product should look when you're just about finished. When the sauce is about done, add a little bit of salt, and then pour the spicy oil sauce into a bowl for later use. Now it's time to fry the dry pot. Again, boil about a medium amount of oil, and then add a chunk of the hot pot sauce. Try to break the sauce down into little pieces to make your final sauce. Go ahead and drop your meat into the frying pan and cook it until the meat is pretty well done. Then add your vegetables and stir them. Then add your spicy oil sauce and stir the whole thing together for about three to four minutes. Finally, when you're done, remove the dry pot from the pan and you can present it nicely with a little bit of cilantro if you like.